There we go. But like I said before, uh, in the last part before I cut it off, Dean Amber is going to win for sure. No problem. Now, um, the reason we are not having a world title match. This was originally going to be a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Dolph Ziggler versus uh, to defend against Alberto Del Rio and Jack Swagger is because either last week or this week he suffered a concussion and then this week the doctors decided that it was really, really bad. I don't remember exactly why. It'll probably say in the article really quickly. I'll look really quickly. Um... It does not, and WWE would, this is actually kind of stupid of WWE. Um, yeah, it does not say, but uh, some form of concussion is what they're saying. I know if there's a medical term for it, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But um, instead of TVR Long stripping him of the second world title, and that would be really dumb of Teddy Long, or Booker T for that matter, to do that, um, we have this match, the rematch for WrestleMania. Except no titles on the line, but it's a blood feud. And what do you do with a blood feud? You either make it a scrap match, you either make it a steel cage match, which would probably spoil the match, but we've done this for weeks, or we do this, an I quit match, where the winner becomes the number one contender for the world heavyweight title. And it's that simple to do, and you bought it hook, line, and sinker. I'm actually excited for this one. Because we haven't seen an I Quit match in a very long time. I think the last one, ironically, was at Extreme Rules. I, don't, I think it was Miz and uh, Cena, which was a stupid match, but, you know, to each his own. So, we have this match. Uh, Bitter the Rio with Ricardo Rodriguez probably at ringside against uh, uh, Jack Swagger and Dutch Mantel, a.k.a. Zed Coulter, at ringside. Um, I've been saying for months, uh, you know... If this, if it wasn't for Weed the People, from Jack Swagger's little incident, he probably would be world champion by now. He probably would have been the champion, but, uh, you know, it worked out because Dolph Ziggler cashed in the damn thing. And, you know, we'll have a new Money in the Bank actually very, very soon. To my knowledge, I think it's the next month or the, or the month after. So, you know, he cashed in just in time. But uh, instead of stripping of the title, we have this match. Uh, the more contender for the World Heavyweight title, I think I already said that. But we have, you know, I've been saying this for months, though. You have Dutch Mantel, a legend. Doesn't matter if he's Zebekiah Coulter from the fucking Blue Brothers. And if, if you remember that, thank God and thank you for watching this shit. But, but you know, people know who the fuck Dutch Mantel is, tell is. You know, the new people will call him Zeb Coulter because they don't know who the fuck Dutch Mantel is and how great this guy actually is on, on a mic or on commentary or, is, or actually was in the ring. Back in the the uh, Memphis days of CWA, CWF, whichever promotion it was, it was one of the two with, with uh, Lawler because then it because it then turned to PPW, Power Pro Wrestling, or uh, USWA, one of the two. It's probably both. But uh, um, yeah, you, you have Doug Mantel in your corner. It's an I Quit match. You have that experience. Poke the brain a little bit. Jack Swagger will win this no problem. Because what the fuck is Ricardo Rodriguez going to do? I mean, sure, he's a great wrestler. He used to be Chimera. And it took me a while to realize that, but he actually was Chimera. Or Sema, or something like that. But, uh, great wrestler. But you, you, you have fucking Dutch Mantel. A man who has a lot of years in this business. Doesn't matter what fucking give it, gimmick you give him. You pretty much give him the Glenn Beck, but the Southern NWO kind of style. Or remember, it's like the Dusty Rhodes kind of style of talking. Except you Americanize it to where... The ignorant infidel would be offended. And it works, so why not? Have Southern bashing Glenn Beck. Why the fuck not? <laughs> it took me that while well to realize that too. But again, Jack Swagger will win this no problem. And the match we've been wanting to see, not really. But finally we'll get rid of this fucking feud because the game won... At WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar won at SummerSlam. This is the the uh, the ringer, so to say. This is the uh, deciding match. This is the runoff. And being a good thank God, it's done after this, hopefully. And thank God if it is. Brock Lesnar versus Triple H and his new fucking haircut. 
inside a 15 foot high steel cage. Now back in the day, steel cage matches were the end all be all. And this is probably why they're doing this. And thank God if I'm right. Uh, but you know, they're tied one all. And then you had fucking Brock Lesnar go to Titan Towers and have the World Heavyweight title and have this epic spiel with Paul Heyman. And, uh, you know, have this match signed months or weeks in advance. I mean, you know, it's probably going to happen regardless. But I don't believe that the the uh, Triple H's career is on the line again. I don't think so. But, uh, you know, settling the score. Once and for all, we'll figure out who is better. And I don't care who wins because you could say Brock Lesnar could win because of his UFC experience, but he's been in cages before. He knows what to do. But before UFC... This is you cage an animal like Brock Lesnar. How the fuck are you going to win? Even if you are Triple H, the CEO of this company, how are you going to win? I don't think you are, and no one knows that you will. But hopefully, this will be the end of Triple H, and he can go back to his CEO duties. Or Brock could injure him again, make him have a fucking cast, do the same thing. I don't care. As long as Triple H is done, he should be running the company for a reason. Sure, granted, it's good seeing him in the ring. Granted, this is probably the only two matches he will do because we haven't seen him on Raw do one, or unless it's a house show. But 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 he's the COO. Vince is, Vince is gonna die eventually. You should start the foundations. You've done a good job already getting these stars, getting these people. Bring people up from NXT. In my personal opinion, just end this, Paul. Paul, please end this after this match. You are the COO of this company. Just say goodbye. And finally, we have the match that probably wouldn't have happened if Cena was actually more injured than I hope he would have been. Why couldn't he have stripped him of the belt? I don't know. Because of his fucking pride. And I'd like that in a champion, but it's fucking Super Cena, so he'll no-sell it anyway. <laughs> so why even have him injured to begin with? It was probably a legitimate injury, well, that's like The Rock had, granted, may maybe not, it's fucking Super Cena. He has his own little energy source he can use, but Superman has found his kryptonite in Ryberg, and Ryberg will kill John Cena. Ryberg will become, finally, the W. WWE Champion, the man that wants to be fed more like a whore on Harry Hines, Ryberg Reeves, will become the WWE Champion. And he can feed on all the fucking whores he wants after that. I don't give a shit. As long as Super Cena does not walk out as the champion. Make him have the shortest reign possible. Fuck him over. I don't care. Have Brad Maddox as a referee. I, don't, I hate this guy. I really do. I respect him for all he does for Make-A-Wish. But in the ring, he is absolute shit. He will always be shit. And you know what? Yeah, put a piece of shit like Ryberg in there. You have the second coming of Goldberg. Why the fuck not let him be fucking Goldberg? Have the title. Have a streak. I don't give a shit. As long anyone, even JTG, that little pissant, could be a champion as far as I'm concerned, as long as it's not Cena. Granted, he had a good match at WrestleMania with The Rock. He injured The Rock. He made him not do movies. Which is bad for business for WWE and Hollywood. It, it was probably accidental. Granted, it was accidental. But Cena needs to learn a lesson. He was injured. You need to go deeper. Go for the jugular. Kill John Cena in that ring. Well, maybe not kill him, but close enough, you know. So... Yeah, before I go insane, that's your fucking card. We did it all in one sitting. Why not? Extreme Rules is this Sunday, and hopefully this will be the only time I have to do this because the Divas match and the uh, other match might be, but uh, we can do that if it happens. This Sunday, fuck you, Cena.